So you now, are. the question, well, we don't know. It could be this circuit or this circuit. So how can we determine which one has the highest resistance? Measure each one individually. All right, Ray, grab hold of it. And, oh, I don't, I don't think Ray has, let's, all right, George. Let's give it a try, George. First, you want to load up on some water, because water's a conductor, right? Oh, look at George. Come on, George. Come on, buddy. Now, everybody go, poor George. Poor George. George, have a little bit of water. Well, all right. Now, Ray, don't go too far away. All right, George, good job. One more time, Ray, let's check, make sure. Try it. No, there's no hope. No hope. He's the wing plate. But that's okay. That's all right. Your zipper's down. No, I'm just kidding. All right, now we're going to do the final finale. Everybody enjoys this. This one is called the chemistry experiment. Who knows the makeup of a pickle? <laughs> the pickle has what inside? Salt. Good job, young lady. Salt. And what color, if you apply voltage to a pickle, will it glow? Red. Uh, who said red? And no, not red. It's going to glow yellow. Remember sodium? Remember in chemistry, sodium? So what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate the flow of electrons, which is the unit of the amp, right? The voltage is going to be 110 volts. The resistance about 400 ohms once it gets blazing. You can actually, through Ohm's law, P is equal to E times I, calculate how many watts this will be growing. So we're going to get out our official uh, pickle roaster. Let's see. <laughs> now we can do that one. All right. And we're going to impale the pickle. We're going to impale the pickle there. And we're going to pass current through the pickle. And to do so, uh, Ray, you don't want to touch the metal part. I know, I've been there. And we want you to first bring the pickle up to a glow. And then we're going to see, does it glow red or does it glow yellow? And then we want you to send SOS. Now, remember SOS? We want dit, 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 da, 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 dit, dit, dit. SOS, my pickle is on fire. All right, first bring it up to a glow. Oh, that's good. I was worried too. All right, SOS. Dit, 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 da, 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 dit, dit, dit. Man, you must have had the uh, code in the military, huh? All right, uh, you go ahead and unplug her now. And um, here, this is your, um, Ray is brand new, getting into ham radio. And uh, thank you, Ray, and George, thank you very much. All of these demonstrations are described in my free, no charge, instructor book on how to teach classes with pickles. So if you teach classes and you'd like to learn more about uh, some uh, games that we play with, wow, that thing is fun, to our uh, students, then join us. Ray, everybody give Ray a big hand. He's just joining Ham Radio. He's got all three books and he is ready to roll. But uh, this is free. All we'd like you to do is sign up as a uh, instructor. Uh, no strings attached. We'll send this out to you in about a week's time. And you get a CD and a whole bunch of stuff. So thank you all very much. The W5YI Group Instructor Program is what we were doing here. We'd love to have instructors sign up. Enjoy the ham fest, 73. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can you put this up, use the video? Absolutely, and hi to everybody from the Dayton Ham Fest, Gordo 2011. I didn't think I'd make it this long, and I'm glad you're all watching. Thanks for being here, and this was our little How to Teach a Ham class uh, session. 73 from Gordon West, WB6NOA. Thank you. This is KK4WW, your videographer.